Hi everyone, it's Marta. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here. In fact, let's do a little virtual hug. Yeah, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. Today I am bringing you a video where I give you two recipes for one ingredient. And that one ingredient today is cauliflower. Whoop whoop, let's hear it for cauliflower. Cauliflower is delicious and healthy, has lots of minerals and vitamins, but I feel like most people know it only from the veggie platter they get at the store for the potluck at work. I am from Poland and in Poland we really boil the heck out of cauliflower, smother it in breadcrumbs and butter, so that makes it really delicious. But today I wanted to show you a couple different um, recipes where cauliflower takes the main stage and also tastes delicious and the recipes are also very healthy. Both recipes are actually vegetarian. Um, they're not vegan, but you can do a little couple twists on them to make them vegan. One of the recipes is actually a really warm, delicious, hearty meal, and the other one is a salad, and it's really crisp, crunchy, and delicious. I wanted to give you a couple ideas where you can really make cauliflower shine. So I'm really excited for this. I hope you guys are as well, and let's get started. Our first recipe is cauliflower with curry. Of course, you'll need a cauliflower, zucchinis, a bell pepper, some cilantro for topping, rice, here I'm using pre-cooked, curry sauce or any other simmer sauce, as well as plain yogurt. First we're chopping up our veggies and we're starting with zucchini. Here I'm going for kind of bite-sized chunks so they're easier to eat. I'm gonna slice the bell pepper as well and I'm going to cook the bell pepper with the zucchini until it's softened, just on a pan with some oil. Then I'm going for the big boy our cauliflower, the start of the show, and I'm going to cut it into similar size pieces as I did the zucchini and the bell pepper. You want nice big chunks and also cook it in a bit of oil until it softens. Then of course you're going to add your curry or your simmer sauce. And I'm just chopping up some cilantro to top it all off. Of course you can skip cilantro, but I love cilantro. And all you have to do is plate it and watch it disappear. This recipe is really delicious. It's very hearty, it's very warm, and it's so nice to just curl up with a nice bowl of this and enjoy. You can top off with yogurt, you can skip the yogurt if you want to keep it vegan, and enjoy! Next recipe is a cauliflower salad, and of course you'll need a cauliflower, some sweet corn, here I used the frozen kind, heated it and let it cool off, a cucumber, green onions, and of course some fresh delicious dill. You'll want to slice up your cauliflower, I find that it's easiest to take the stalk out if you do these kind of diagonal cuts into the cauliflower. And here you're going for smaller pieces because this is a salad and you want to get them a little bit smaller just so that it's easier to eat. Don't forget to rinse your cauliflower once you, of course, slice it up. You'll peel your cucumber and also slice it into small chunks as well. I don't take out the seeds in the cucumber, but if you want it to be less sloppy and if you're not going to eat it all right away, I definitely recommend taking out the seeds from the cucumber. Then we'll move on to our green onions. I like to use the entire thing, don't waste anything. I like the oniony taste of it and just throw it all in your salad. Then I'm gonna go ahead and chop my dill up nice and fine. I love dill. And then I'm going to add the sweet corn. Toss this all together. For the dressing, you'll need half a cup of plain yogurt, a couple limes, two ripe avocados and salt and pepper. You'll want to start with mashing up your avocados. Mine were very ripe, so this is very easy. Then we'll add our limes. I'm just gonna squeeze all that lime juice. I really like lime, so I added all two limes. Mix that all together. Then you'll just add your Greek yogurt and salt and pepper. I like mine quite peppery, so I add a lot of pepper and quite a lot of salt. This is the only seasoning the salad is getting, so you want to make sure that it's well seasoned and taste as you go. And then it's just a matter of adding it all together. This is a really great dressing for um, many salads and it goes really well with the cauliflower. Toss it all together 
and enjoy. I'm telling you, this is a really delicious crunchy salad. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below also if you have any other ingredients that you would like for me to cook with. I'm going to be doing a whole series of this type of video where I take one ingredient and provide you with two healthy delicious recipes. So let me know down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you in my next one. See ya. Bye.